Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So last week, we talked about uh, three things. We talked about the special rules, uh, the special moves. Uh, we talked about the point system. And we also talked about checks. Now, today, we're going to talk about how you win a game by doing a checkmate. It is going to be um, going from last week's lesson. Now let's do a quick review of the points. So everybody, we have the pawn. Pawn is a very small piece, right? But it is uh, still very important because as we learned last week, if a pawn goes all the way and then um, it goes all the way forward and there's no more squares, then that pawn can get promoted, right? So it can turn, it can get promoted into a queen. Now, the pawn is by itself worth one point. And now let's talk about the knight. The knight and the bishop, everybody, they are worth the same. They're both worth three points each. And then we have the rook. Does anybody remember how many points is a rook? All right, if you said five, five is correct. That's how many points the rook is worth. And then next, everybody, we have the queen. Now, queen is the strongest piece on the chessboard, so it is qu worth quite a lot. And we said the queen is worth how much? All right, so the queen is worth nine points, everybody. It is worth quite a lot. Now, lastly, we have the king, everybody. And the king, it's the most important piece on the chessboard. It is not very strong, but it is the most important. The king is the worth the game. As we're going to see today, if you attack the king and the king cannot escape the check, then you win the game. That is what we call a checkmate. The king is worth like 1 million points. It is worth more than every other thing on the chessboard. All right. So everybody, let's talk about checks. Now, last week we talked about three different ways you can get out of a check. And we are going to talk about it today more in depth. So everybody, the first way, um, how to get out of a check. So the first way would be to move the king. The second way would be to block the check. And the third way is capture the attacker. Now, these are the three different ways. Now, you can do it in any order you want in any position you want, if it is available. So let me show you. Let me show you an example position. Now, everybody, let's say we have a position like this and white has the turn. So white is going to make a move in this position. Everybody, if we move the rook to d8, the rook is now doing a check. And now, as we said, when there is a check, the king has to get out of the check. This is very important. Right now, everybody, the black king can only escape to one square. Can we see which square that the king can move to? So everybody, the king can go to h7. This is the only square that the king can go to, right? Now, everybody, remember that the black pawns are going towards the number one rank. So it will be going backwards for this black pawn to do something like this. And this is against the chess rules. This is an illegal move. 
And does black have any pieces that can capture this white rook right now? No. So everybody in this position, moving the king works. Block the check doesn't work because there are no pieces that can go in between the king and the rook. And capturing the rook also doesn't work. So right now, black can try to get out of the check by moving the king to h7. Okay. But what if everybody, the pawn, the black pawn was at h7 and we had a position like this. If we had a position like this, everybody, now we can actually do what we call a checkmate. In a checkmate, we have to do a check. Now the rook is doing a check, everybody. It becomes a mate, everybody. It becomes a checkmate when the king cannot escape the check. Now, this is very similar to the last position we saw. The only difference is this h7 square. Now, the black king cannot go anywhere, everybody. So this is going to be a checkmate. And if somebody does a checkmate, in this position, white is doing the checkmate, white is going to win the game. White won and black lost. So everybody, if black gets checkmated like this, black is losing the game and the game is done. You don't play this anymore. You finish this game. If you want, you can set it up back to its original position or you can um, stop playing. Okay. This is what we call a check mate. A checkmate is basically when the king cannot get out of the check with these three methods, right? If these three methods of getting out of a check doesn't work, then it is a checkmate. Okay, let's see another example position. Now, everybody, let's say we have a position like this. Now, one of the rooks, everybody, one of the rooks is attacking on the B file, right? So if the king tries to go on this arrow, on this B file, the black king is going to get burned. It's going to be in check, and that's going to be an illegal move. And everybody, it is white turn. So let's see. Let's say white moves this rook to a7. Now the rook is doing a check. It is attacking the king. Now let's see if this is a check mate. Everybody, black is only the king, so they cannot block the check or they cannot capture the rook right now. So let's see if the black king can try to move away from this check. Everybody, the king cannot go on the A file because that's where this rook is attacking. And the king also cannot go to the B file because that's where the other rook is sitting at. So this, everybody, is going to be super important. This is how we can do a checkmate as white right now. Now, let me ask you a different question. What if the rook did a check at e4? Is this a checkmate? If the black king, everybody, can get out of the check in any way possible, it is not a checkmate. But if they cannot get out of the check, then it is a checkmate. Now, let's see. Can the black king get out of the check by moving 
What do we think? Can the king go up? Can the king go down? So everybody, yes, the king can escape the check in this position. Now the king cannot go here because of the rook. The king cannot go here because of both of the rooks. The king cannot go here because of uh, this b8 rook. But everybody, the king can go to a3. And it can also go to a5. So in this position, this is not a checkmate. The black king can escape to a5. This is very important to everybody. This is not a checkmate right now. So let's actually put a little more pieces onto the board. Um, okay. All right, so everybody, let's say we have a position like this. Now white can do a check with the white rook. And white can move this rook to e8. Now everybody, we are doing a check right now. Is this a check mate? Can black get out of this check? What do we think? So let's try to see if the black king can try to move away from the check. And everybody remember, you cannot capture your own pieces. Maybe black can try to block the check or they can try to capture the attacker, which is the rook. The rook is doing the check. So let's see if black can do any of those things right now. All right, so everybody, this is not a checkmate because black can escape the check by capturing the rook with their rook. And now they get, uh, they get this tasty, delicious rook and they also prevent the checkmate. So this is a very, very good idea for black. But for white, moving the rook to here isn't so good because they are uh, losing the rook and the opponent doesn't get checkmated. All right. So in the homework for this week, we are going to be doing some checkmate positions. And everybody, um, there's something important that I also want to mention. You see, a king cannot do a check. A king cannot do a check on another king. A king can try to attack and capture other pieces, but we cannot do a check onto the opponent's king. Okay. All right. So everybody, uh, let me show you a different position. Now, uh, don't mind the uh, moves. I just want to set up the position. And I'm going to show you what I mean by this. Everybody in this position, if the white queen goes to here, this is a nice check. The queen is now attacking the black king. Now let's go over these three methods to see if black can get out of the check. Now let's see where the black king can go. If the black king tries to go to the square to e7, it is right next to the queen. So the queen can actually still do a check. So this is not good. Maybe the black king will try to capture this attacker, this piece doing the check. 
But you see, everybody, if the king tries to capture this queen, the king will still be in check, and not by the queen, but by this bishop. So this is also not possible for black. If the king tries to go to the square, the king will still be in check. And remember, everybody, when the king is in check, whatever they do, they have to get out of the check and then uh, in their move, right? If they make a move and they're still in check, that is not good for that side. So we talked about moving the king. Moving the king didn't work. We talked about capturing the attacker. The attacker is also um, actually helped by this bishop. So this is also not going to be possible for this king to do. Because if the king tries to capture this queen, the bishop will be now doing the check, everybody. And they can also try to block this check, our other option. But everybody, when the queen is doing a check right next to the king, the queen is right in front of the king. And you actually cannot put a piece in between these two pieces. There's not space. There's not enough space right now. So this is, everybody, actually a check mate. And this is what we call the scholar's mate, which uh, we will cover in the uh, towards the late of this summer semester. Okay. So in order to determine if it is a if a check is a checkmate, we have to look into these three things for the king to get out. If the king cannot get out, then it is a checkmate, everybody. Okay, so let me ask you a few checkmate questions on how we can try to do a checkmate. Everybody, in a checkmate, all you gotta do is try to do a check and see if the opponent can get out of the check. If they can't, good job, we win the game. Okay. Everybody, it is white's turn and white wins in one move. White is going to make a check and the black king cannot get out of the check by any means necessary. So everybody, we already know a king cannot do a check, but we have a queen as white. So maybe we can try to move the queen to do a check. Uh, feel free to pause this video to think about it. I'm going to show the answer in a few seconds. <clears throat> All righty. Everybody, in order to do a checkmate, we must do a check. So we are going to bring the queen closer to the king to do an attack. Now, maybe we want to move the queen to a7 to do this check. Now, this is indeed a check. But is it a checkmate? Does white win the game? What do we think? Is there, any way, uh, is there any way for black to get out of this check? Is there any way for the black king to escape the check? Everybody, yes, they can escape the check. And there is, there are actually two different ways. First, they can capture the attacker. They can capture the queen. Because after the king captures the queen, the king gets out of the check. The king is no longer being in check. And there is also another way, everybody, for the black king 
to escape this check. And that is to move the king to c8, to move away the king. Now, this is possible. Um, the king gets out of the check. But the first method for this position is better, everybody, because black gets a very tasty queen right now. So they can capture this queen like that. Therefore, everybody, moving the queen to a7 isn't the idea. But we can actually move our queen to f8. And now we are doing a check with the queen like this. And black has to get out of the check. Can black get out of this check in one move? All right, everybody, the black king cannot get out of the check. And remember, the black pawns are going towards the first rank, which is here. And as we know, a pawn cannot go backwards. So the pawn cannot block the check. And everybody, <laughs> the king cannot capture the pawns. That is an illegal move. So there is no way for black to get out of this check. Since they cannot get out of this check, this is going to be a checkmate. And white wins the game. And black lost the game. Everybody, this is how you can win a game. You must do a checkmate uh, if we want to win the game on this board. Okay. And everybody, uh, this checkmate actually has a special name. This is what we call a back rank checkmate. A back rank checkmate. The reason why this is called a back rank is, as we know, these um, horizontal lines are what we call ranks. And this is the back rank where the checkmate happens. We will also see some other types of checkmates Everybody, let me show you another type of checkmate. For example, everybody in this position, if the white knight goes to c7, this is also a checkmate. And this is also a special, um, well, it's not really like special, but it's, it has a name. This is what we call a smothered mate. The black king cannot escape the check because of its own pieces. These pieces are blocking the king's way. No piece can capture the knight. And as we know, the knight jumps. So no piece can block this jumping check and that's why this is also a check mate all right so everybody this is our first class uh fourth class excuse me not first this is our fourth class and uh, in the next classes um i will we will do a live right so whatever questions you have you're able to ask it in class and i'm looking forward to see you all right. Bye, everybody.